Aloha CEEP friends, good morning. Aloha kakahiaka. We hope that this morning has met you well. Apologies for the Zoom squares here. We know they're very familiar to you, but it's the only way we can welcome you this morning unmasked. I am the Reverend Heather Patton Graham. And I am the Reverend Keleave He. We are the vicars here at St. Andrew's Cathedral in downtown Honolulu, Hawaii. Being in one of the most isolated places on the planet, we have not experienced the sheer numbers of cases and deaths related to COVID that just about every other place has. However, being one of the most isolated places on the planet defined how we responded, the resilience we've shown, and how we continue to respond and be resilient to the virus. We live knowing how interwoven we are as a community, how much we rely on one another and how much our actions do create a ripple effect. We do not have the large system infrastructure other places have, so we have to rely on one, an one another to live aloha. It is our kuleana, our responsibility to share in the load together. Living aloha is not just a catchphrase or a t-shirt slogan, it is our way of life. Over the course of the past year with COVID, the cathedral has needed to close our doors for three stretches of time. And throughout those times, we have needed to define, redefine, refine, and re-re-refine how we live and move and have our being as the cathedral. At the same time, we as a larger island community, we're doing the same thing. Our resilience and flexibility are true aspects of our way of life. And as the cathedral, our resilience and flexibility are deeply rooted in our heritage as inspired by our founders, King Kamehameha IV and Queen Emma, known to the larger church as the Holy Sovereigns, honored in the lesser feasts and fasts calendar. King Kamehameha IV and Queen Emma, they knew epidemics and virus and rapid spread. They knew sadness and geographical isolation. They also knew the unshakable strength of aloha and carried a deep and abiding devotional life and connection to the Anglican Church, with Emma having been a lifelong Anglican. In their time as the ruling monarchs here in the Kingdom of Hawaii, they founded the hospital during the smallpox epidemic by going door to door and raising the funds for the care center through a community aloha commitment and the hospital they founded, known as the Queen's Medical Center, still thrives today. And it was in that same time period that the King himself translated the Book of Common Prayer into Olelo Hawaii the Hawaiian language, writing his own preface to the book as a gift to his kingdom, sharing the grace and beauty of the church, our tradition with his people. The visioning for this cathedral began then with them. We are here now because of then. This is our legacy. When we consider all that this past year has brought to us, we think often of the king and queen and the example they provided rich in faith and deep in aloha. We have models for this current time imaged right in our stained glass. We walk where they walk. We pray where they prayed. We offer our ho'okupu, our respect, and our offering of thanks to them for this legacy they inspired. Nakana pao, ikanui o kaumau kana, nau i ho'oka Indeed, in the multitude of saints, God has surrounded us with a great cloud of witnesses, just as the preface for all saints has us pray each November 1st. That is what Father Kaleave just shared with us in Olelo, Hawaii. We here at the Cathedral of St. Andrew do rejoice in the fellowship of our founders, the King and Queen, 
the holy sovereigns, as well as Queen Liliuo Kalani and all the saints. And with their example set before us, we have endurance and resilience modeled and grace embodied for the resilience still needed in the months to come. With our aloha and our mahalo for your time this morning. Our prayers for your continued presence and perseverance are fervent and unceasing. Aloha. Aloha.